and bless you for the price you got too late but we come to hear to you to say God bless you for all you've done during all your years in the army and the second thing I want to say is I pray to God for the comfort to the parents who lost the Givati and Hebron yesterday may God bless them and may God bless all Givatis and protect them as much as possible. The other thing I want to say is that I love Yitzhak Levit, the chairman of the Givatis, and I'm thankful to see you and your family here. I bless you. I think they made a good choice. When I write to him, I never say dear Yitzhak, I say dear, dear, dear Yitzhak. to do something that's not on the program I have a most favored pastor friend in the Philippines I've just been there and they showed me the film that they made of 16,000 Christians all having Israel flags and I showed it even to Israeli friends to show what is happening among all the nations of the world you know the Bible says that the nations will come against you, but out of the nations, Yichya Eser, ten, who will take hold of him that is a Jew, Gentiles, Chavarim, Nazrim, Zionim, who say to you, like we do today, not just here, but tomorrow in the Tzada Yerushalayim, אנחנו איתכם, אנחנו רוצים להתפלל שהניצחון יחיה בימינו לכל ישראל. And you know, אני אף פעם קראתי בתנ"ך, אני נתתי את הארץ לשתי עמים. אני רק, ואנחנו מאמינים בתנ"ך. אני רק קראתי, אני נתתי את הארץ לעם האכוף, לנצח. So therefore we come and say, the Jeremiah prophecy, I hope you all understand English because I want the others to hear it. The um, theme of our feast, is from Jeremiah, I'm the new Jeremiah because I live in Anatot, in Almon. So I feel very, so I think I have the right to be the Dutch Jeremiah and say to you, don't, Alte vertel haaretz, she Hashem natan lachem. 
Yes, I will rejoice over them, over Israel, to do them good. Jeremiah is speaking, or God is speaking through Jeremiah. And I will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and with all my soul. And when I read that, I said, God, you created the planets, millions of stars. Is it so important for you that you take your Jewish people after 2,000 years and plant them in this little part of one planet? And it is so important for you that you do so. The Creator is speaking with all your heart and with all your soul because what will happen to Israel will be in the end or a new time for all mankind will not come from London not from Paris not from Washington DC it will come from Jerusalem when the Jews make Aliyah and believe in their tafkid in their task to tell the world we were created as human beings by a creator whose name is love. Yes. Elohei Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov. That we as Gentiles, we respect and love him. You know, I'm happy that you're a hundred years to hear this wonderful message. You could have been dead, and you would have missed it. Hallelujah. If my God, your God, our God, with all his heart and all his soul, has waited for this moment, how big this moment must be if he has so many planets and stars to look at and he says when I plant you in your land in Israel I will do so with all my heart and all my soul Francis Francis where is God we want to thank you for the Givatis and for all that they have done we praise you for your love for your people that you brought them back after 2,000 years being scattered among the nations. Not to be Goyim in Tel Aviv and in other places, but to be your people in your land. A light to the Gentiles and an encouragement to this world that has lost its compass and lost its ways and runs after their own desires and money and materialism. And I, Lord, thank you that we have been invited and welcomed by these dear people that are in the forefront of the defense of your people. We pray the protection, not just over the Givatis, but over the pilots and over the Navy. And especially, Father, as we many times Christians, we pray. Especially it is wonderful to have him in Jerusalem representing Christian Zionists from all over the world. And I salute you, Jan Willem, for what you have been doing to help support the State of Israel. I have enormous respect for his principles. These basic fundamental principles that guide his life. That will never depart from your heart. For it is only when you know why Israel is so important. Israel paid this unbelievable price. Their synagogues were burned. No peace, but 5,000 Katsam's rocks on Dorot and Ashkelon. Or we gave the man that taught world terrorism to all the nations of the world, Yasser Arafat, the Nobel Prize of Peace. You have to change your policy towards Israel. People have lost their grandparents in the Auschwitz, lost their sons in the wars of Israel, or lost their parents in terrorist attacks. And what does the world do? Criticize, criticize, criticize. I says, when are we going to rise up as real brothers and say, Israel needs you to come with a bleeding heart and say, I'll do anything for you.